Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's Monday morning. I've got a nice delivery of six crush and run, two wash sand and some cement. I'm in Blaken, near Chester in England. And if you've just stumbled across this video and thinking, what are you on about? I'm a class two heavy goods driver in the UK. I deliver building supplies, the Forncliff building supplies. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's head back to the yard now and see what else I've got. Yeah, you know I've mentioned in the past where I say I'm right on the border. Well, we're right on the border here. Well, I was in England on that delivery. I've literally come down the road and there's that sign saying welcome to Wales. Bit of useless information for you. Right, I'm back at the yard and I've just loaded up. And if you remember on, it's either the last video or the one before that, on the last delivery, I said the lad was asking me about these mortar tubs. Well, he's ordered four. This loads all for him. But he's ordered slab mix, obviously, to lay them on. But that's what it's like. The feedback's pretty good on it. Everyone's saying it's good stuff. Uh, each tub is a quarter of a cube and they're roughly half a ton each so there's a there's a full cube here and apparently it's cheaper to have it like this rather than have all the bulk bags and the cement and the mixing on site there's none at the back I'll try and film it if I can but, uh, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna get the crane down, strap it all up, and be on my way. delivery done and he's just told me that it's the, those four tubs there so it's a cube of slab mix he's got ready to go ready to lay it's the equivalent of him having two bag bulk bags of washed sand and 12 cement which would have cost him about 200 quid that pre-mixed stuff there that I've just delivered cost him 140 quid so there's 60 quid saved and it's, that's minus all the labour as well of him mixing it himself. So he reckons it saved him about half a day and 60 quid. So yeah, he's, he's made up with it. 
so happy days. Uh, I've got a bag of rubbish to collect now in Norfolk on my way back. And the time is quarter to 11 on this sunny Monday day. There's my collection. Like a bag of branches and trees. Right, let's get that on. Right, I'm back. It's now Wednesday. I dropped them off on Monday, didn't I? They're all empty now, so they're going back. And I've got another two for the customer. He obviously likes it. That's where he's paving. So I'm going to get them on, them off, and he's got a bit of timber as well. So I'll do that now. There they are. 3B2 timber and the posts as well, I dropped off. done I don't think they're gonna I don't even know if the lads will turn up today to do it to be honest look at it I uh, I struggled getting in here this little coldy track I had to see how it's on a slight hill there I couldn't reverse in I had to go and turn round go that way and then reverse in so I was reversing downhill slightly but uh, I've got a delivery in the next street now, which is on a bit of a steep hill, so that's going to be fun. So, we'll see what happens with that. Here we are at the next uh, delivery. You see what I mean? It's downhill, this. I haven't got a good feeling about this, to be honest. sliding already. Right, I need to make a decision here. Am I going to carry on or I don't think I'm going to reverse out of here now anyway. No. Dip flops in. Shifted all the way to the axle. I'm just sliding down this hill. Yeah, every time I touch the brakes, I'm just sliding. No, do you know what? I'm getting out of here if I can. Before it's too late. I'm getting out of here. I get stuck. I don't like doing that, but I think they'd appreciate it. If I went down there and got stuck down there all day, it's knackered, in it? And it's give this snow all day. Am I being overcautious? I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll ring the office anyway. I phoned the office and told them the situation and that they're uh, happy with me decision. They don't want me being stuck down in that coldy sack all day. And oh, I can't even. I'm struggling to get going here now. 
We just can't cope with it in this country. They don't, they don't grit any of the side roads. And that delivery, he wanted it next to the skip, which is down the driveway. So I would have had to try and get on the drive a little bit. And it's just too risky in this. So they're, they're gonna phone him and explain. He's not, he's not even going to do the job today because of the snow. So I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. But I've got another delivery now of a pallet of turf in Buckley. And I know the street we're going to is on a hill. It goes up and down, up and down. That won't have been touched either. So we'll see what that's like when we get there. And then I've got, I go to Bottle Within to pick up some concrete from our concrete depot. I've got to pick up from there and then I'm going to Anglesey. There's the concrete collected, six packs of 10 foot posts. And they're going to Anglesey now. My hands are freezing, so let's get going. to go in now, I'm at the wrong one. So I'm gonna have to back out of here. Right, I'm here, I finally found it, and I'm just getting offloaded by a nice gentleman on the forklift. This site, the old, well, this is a new entrance, which is in a car sales car park. It never, I went into the housing estate next to it. And, uh, yeah, obviously it weren't in there. I had to ring, ring the bloke back. 
He said you go through the car sales car park, you'd, you'd never know. Anyway. He's just taking them off, stocking them in that little tiny storage yard. Right, there's that delivery done. Bit of a weird one, that. Let's go through a car park to get to the entrance. Anyway, I'm gonna... There's a home bargain across there. My good friend Ben in the office wants these noodle pot things out of there. So I'm gonna go in there, have a look for him. I'm gonna put the wagon on a 15 minute break. Right, I've just been in home bargain. I've got four minutes left. Let me 15 minute break. They're what you wanted. Spicy Thai noodle tubs. They're only uh, 70 calories in a tub. Yeah. Six of them for them. Maple, bacon, lentil. Oops, they're well nice. Got a couple of bags there. Got some Mother's Day cards and some pajamas, and I got some clip-on vents, seventy-nine p. We'll give them a whirl. Probably last two minutes, won't they? But we'll see. Anyway, two minutes left. Get going back to the yards. An hour, an hour and a half back, something like that. Hello, I'm back. As we're going over the Britannia Bridge, bridge in and out of Anglesey. I'd love to know the story, but there's a house, you can't see it. I forgot there's a house in the middle of the river or whatever it is. How did they get to that? like a house right in the middle of the river. I'll have to ask. now from that long time lapse back from Anglesey. It's dinner time, I've got carrot and coriander soup, a bit of brown bread with cottage cheese on and a yoghurt. 